It is cold here in the desert at night, not not in the middle of the day. Anything to say, Dopey? Simple, simple. It's not very difficult. Anybody could do this. And I think, well, that's ridiculous. Where, where else would you want to hook them up? And of course you want them on the inside. What the hell good is propane heating system doing outdoors? But don't blow yourself up. It's Fox Truck Corey. Well, guys, I'm clearing out this cabinet back here under my stove. And I'm wiring in a... Well, I guess wiring isn't quite the right word. But I'm hooking up the 20-pound the propane. And, you know, I've been refilling the greenies, you know. I got, I got the valve and... But it's a pain. It is cold here in the desert at night, not not in the middle of the day. But it, you know, in camp we're going through four of these a day and refilling them. It's cheaper, but it's a pain in the ass still, and it's wasteful. Like you got to get liquid in these things, right? Like you can't, you know, you can't just fill it with the gas. So, you know, you're. You're exhausting out the valve. You're losing gas. You could otherwise burn because you need to fill this as much liquid as you can so that it's going to last for more than 30 seconds. It's just uh, too much work. I'm done with it. No more. Show you what I'm doing. The dogs are having a nap. Anything to say, Dopey? Got stuff thrown everywhere around the truck, but I want to get this. Mr. Buddy running off the 20 pound tank and not the one pound. I got the a couple hoses, the, uh, the Mr. Heater ones from Walmart. And I got the, the, the filter thing to, to screw into the Mr. Buddy because it'll die otherwise, I guess. And uh, I just, I have another hole to drill through for the Mr. Buddy. This one here is already going up to the, to the stove. And soon, I will no longer need this little refill valve. You know, when you're doing it all the time, it's tough, right, Dopey? Just bought the the Mr. Heater attachments right from Walmart because I don't have internet right now. And you got this little tree. You can plug in a line here, a second line here, and a third line there. So that's going to take care of my three things, my cook stove, my heater, and my uh, water heater. It's not... It's not very difficult. Anybody could do this. You got to end with a prong and an end with a hole. And uh, you just thread them on. Simple, simple. So let me drill a hole through here and uh, run that other hose and put a screw in for this. Uh, that's going to secure the tank. And then, you know, call it done. Actually, I think before it's done, I'm going to put a piece of 2 by 4 all the way across and make a, make a little cradle for a second tank because it would be good to have a, a spare so when one empties, you got the other and you can always have one full. What do you think? Am I doing something wrong? Should work. It's simple. Plug and play. Costs too much money, but it makes it easy. I don't have to look for special parts. I just grab it off the shelf at Walmart. In 10 minutes, I'm done. So, let me drill the hole. We'll see how it works out. Put the hole pretty much right, right across from the, the valve with my spade bit. I, I don't think it's gonna be hard to do this job at all. Anyone could do it. Filter to protect contaminants. Going into the buddy on the 20 pound tanks. It's right for Mr. Heater, so you guys know this is this is gonna work, right? My uh, my heater isn't gonna get fried. That's the goal, anyway. But sometimes I've heard otherwise. So we will see. Hopefully, no problems. 
and I'm going to get a little wrench and tighten these and we will have a 20 pound heating system instead of one pound. And here you have it. Final job, pretty much complete. We've got the hose and the required filter on the Mr. Buddy. And it just goes through the hole in the wall into my little cabinet, which is now my little propane closet and room to store some other crap because storage is important. You know, I got uh, the tree hooked up, chained on. It's uh, it's not going anywhere. It's secure. I built a little uh, two by four frame to hold the base in. Got my spare tank of propane. So when the first one runs out, I just flip it over to the second. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I think it's going to work out great. There's only one little job left to do. Can you tell me what it is? Do you know? Come on. You got an idea. Oh, geez, I got a little eyebrow dandruff up there. It's tough in the desert, guys. You know, it's so dry. But uh, I'll just use my camera as a little mirror here. You don't mind, do you? Do a little personal grueling. Get rid of my eyebrow dandruff while I'm talking to you. I didn't think you'd mind. Thanks. Anyway, what were we talking about? Right. The last final thing to do. It's important. Let me show you. The final job. Easy for me. Because I've already got a spray bottle of dish soap and water. But basically, we are going to squirt every single connection. We're going to spray the soapy water on all of these. Uh, the tank nozzle. Any any fitting, any place that that uh, gas could escape. We're going to you know, hit the uh, the side of the Mr. Buddy over here. We got a couple connections there. We've run it up to the cooktop too, so we got to check that connection. Basically, Spray soapy water, every single connection, and look for air bubbles. If you see bubbles, you got a leak, you need to tighten that better. Now some people say you shouldn't hook these little Mr. Heater propane hose assemblies with the distribution tree, you know, up on the inside of your vehicle. And I think, well that's ridiculous. Where else would you want to hook them up? And of course you want them on the inside. What the hell good is propane heating system doing outdoors? So... I say, if you check your connections, and you make sure there's no leaks, and you probably should have a LP detector, a propane gas detector, in case you do have any leaks. I'll have to pick one up. I don't have one yet. But I, I think you're okay. I don't think it's a big worry. Propane, it really smells. If you have the tiniest leak, I think you're going to smell it. But, you know, if you don't, and propane does build up in your vehicle from a leak, and you get, you know, it pooling around the floor, and then there's ignition source, you have created a bomb, just so you know. But I don't think it's a problem. I'm Box Truck Corey, and that's my opinion. You know it. You got it. You know it. So, be safe. Don't be paranoid. Hook it up. You'll have heat. You'll love it. I'm confident. But don't blow yourself up. Quick little update. Because I know that you want to know. I've got about 40 hours of heat under my belt with the new propane install. And it is working awesome. No greenies to refill, to swap out twice a night. I turn the heat on and I turn it off when I'm hot. It is amazing. I just love it, and I think you will too. When you want to add convenience to your rig, it's the little things like this that make it more like a home. Now, on to the next job.